all times approaching. I knew that preparations needed to be made. And they would need to be made well. Otherwise, the people will freeze to death. Although, that might be the least of my concerns. At this point, I decided to expand the city, such as it was, with steam hubs. They would be needed in order to reach the piles of coal. It would certainly be useful for a number of reasons. The most important of which was the coming drop in temperature. Also, I needed more space to expand the housing. Because I need to fulfill that promise. Although the amount of food that's available is a constant worry. But food will have little meaning if if one is dead due to freezing to death Before the temperature drops, I could afford to have the generator off. It will save coal for what was to come. Deciding not to take chances, I also expanded the road to the coal pile. wasn't due to the work of Mr. Charles Babbage. In fact, his works advanced the British Empire all over. The people have become more hopeful, even though they're Current housing is merely tense. That is something that the engineers will need to rectify eventually. One thing was certain. I knew that time would not be on my side. And 
and not just use the temperature drop. Worse was to come. I might have to expand the amount of engineers that I have. Well, find more engineers and expand the workshops. Have more of them made. To increase the rate of research. As for metal... That's iron ore. Will certainly be needed. As for the... Cause of <sighs> some say it's the cooling of our sun, which I find ridiculous, considering a number of other factors such as a couple of volcanoes erupting in faraway lands. And then there was this meteor shower reported by Turkish astronomer in France. I seem to remember that. Anything that wasn't within the steam hubs would be most unwise, as the temperature would not increase for another two days. Actually, I wasn't being entirely truthful. When the research was complete on this day, there'd be something else to gather. Something that I would need greatly. the sawmill that could now be built, more wood shall be acquired. Overdrive. It does not require more coal, or at least not too much more. But it can overstrain the generator if left on to. In which case, it is not recommended. Uh, 
unless not using it would be akin to suicide. I decided that the hunter's gear would be the most useful right now. As it would at least make the present food situation somewhat more bearable. delayed was there wasn't enough wood to even begin and yes the sawmill can only gather wood that was in range of <sighs> yes I have a lack of understanding in that area Not my departments. Perhaps it was a combination of the two. <sighs> Volcanic eruption. yours from the sky. Both having an effect on the planet as a whole. And those that could did what Britain did. Preparations and generators. Almost bankrupting those that did so. And they were most wise to do so. Because not doing so would result in guarantee. that does not take sides. Nature never does. That is something that I have a full understanding of. Considering my previous life work. It kept me moving. And with the children being apprenticed to the engineers, that should slightly increase the rate that research can be made. I will need 
need better medical facilities as well. As for new laws, making soup instead of full meals. Either way, that sounds controversial. It just wouldn't feel right. Validates. Everything I stand for. I can either sustain life with the gravely ill or take more drastic measures. Sustaining life sounds less hear me, hear me. new law in the city uncomfortable shall we say Nothing to do except turn on the overdrive and keep the people warm until daybreak. to know that a better supply of coal was needed in order to survive longer than a month out here.
perhaps that was why I was at home with a nomadic lifestyle. On water, but not on the canal. And with better hunter's gear, I decided that the coal thumper was worth researching. As those coal piles will certainly last one more day, but not... much longer than that. As far as the sawmills are concerned, Once they exhaust their supply of trees, another can be built and the other can be salvaged. In our current situation, have to make do with what we have, as we can expect no outside help. The outside help is like the frozen to death by now. Hard to believe it's all gone now, isn't it? The British Empire... Queen Victoria... Everything. At this point, now would be a good time to send a scout party to the lost expedition to the south. Yes, I finally had the resources to have one organized and sent to there. Then a mother and child came to me and wanted to thank me as Back in London, only the rich didn't have to send their children to work, and that's... it'd be different here. I simply told them that it was the right thing to do. <sighs> I did not want the return of the workhouses. All that showed was the symptom of a diseased society. Slavery in all but name. <sighs> what it showed was a society that saw things in black and white. Where it was entirely one thing or entirely the other. Not even considering the context. Although there was more good news as the coal thunder could be constructed. And based on the... on what the engineers told me, that would solve the coal supply issue for 
at least the next few days. Although, if the supply issue became a problem again, more could always be constructed. Although, there would need to be buildings that would allow gathering the coal. As for some reason, they could not gather the coal from the ground and then transfer it to the storage. I decided to hold off on research, at least for now. Yes, needed to get rid of some streets in order to have enough wood for what was needed. I might have to rebuild them later, but... That was a matter for another time. steel for what was needed. Once the temperature rose again, I thought that it would be best to gather the steel from the wreckages while this was safe to do so. On day five, it was not safe to do so. In fact, it was not safe to do so anywhere that didn't have a nearby steam hub. There was not that much to do for the rest of this day, although during the night, the scout party found something. A camp that was filled with excited voices. They were filled with relief, and I had a decision to make. Should they be escorted, or should they be sent back without an escort? I chose the latter. I wanted to make sure that they got back here alive. They were no good to anyone dead. They could not go anywhere else while they were doing so, but can't be helped. The news of the fate of the survivors of the expedition certainly made people slightly hopeful, or at the very least, it was once they got here. I preferred not to take unnecessary risks, which is why I ordered them to escort. 